Hi guys, welcome to Filmy Fitness. This is Amandello and today is week 3, day 16 of our 10 weeks lean body challenge. First, I am doing 10 minute stair climber as a warm up to activate my entire body. Climbing stair is one of the best exercise when it comes to pure fat burn. Strengthening the lower body, toning the butt, thigh, calves, losing inches from those love handles and belly and building great abs. Along with these benefits is the immense good it does for your lungs and cardiovascular system. I just completed my warm up so as you guys know this is my drop set week. So let's start with super drop set complete legs workout. My first super drop set is barbell squat and smith squat. I am going to do 4 sets with 15 reps. And barbell squat weight is 40 kg. And on drop smith squat 30 kg. One major difference between the barbell squat and smith machine squat is how far you can bring your feet in front. With barbell squat there is only one position that is feet directly under the bar. In contrast smith machine follow a fixed path thereby removing the need to balance it so you can bring your feet out to various distances. Performing barbell squat will ensure activation of your core as well as stabilizing muscle which means amount of muscle fiber being used is greater as opposed to the smith machine. And I'm doing second set with 50 kg and drop 30 kg on smith. I'm doing third set with 60 kg and draw 40 kg on smith. Both exercises should be included into leg training. However, Smith machine allow heavier training but it can decrease strength and even increase the risk of injury. Yet because Smith training can put greater emphasis on the hamstring, it's recommended in addition to barbell squat. And the last set weight is 70 kg and Smith drop with 40 kg. Through the use of both exercises, you will be able to improve your lower body muscles core stability and put more emphasis on specific muscle group in lower body. After completing one set, I am sipping up EAA and glutamine. Moving on to the second super drop set that is leg press and lunges. I am going to do 4 sets with 15 reps. I am doing leg press with 100 kg and draw body weight lunges with 15 steps each leg. Lunges also increase strength and tone your body, especially your core, butt and legs. It also improves stability, balance and efficiency of workout. And my next set weight is 120 kg and drop lunges 20 steps each leg. Leg press is a compound exercise for lower body development and mainly target your thigh muscles. It is highly effective exercise for building muscles and strength in your quads, ham and calf. Both exercises also help to lose weight. I am doing third set with 120 kg and drop body weight lunges with 25 steps each leg. Leg press and lunges work your entire leg but the leg press primarily works on quadriceps. You would want to have an exercise that allows some work on the hamstring as well. Lunges with the longer stride work on the hamstring more than the quads. Last one with 120 kg and drop body weight lunges with 25 steps each leg. Ensuring that your heels are flat, I like to do leg press without shoes for better grip. After completing my set, I am sipping up my drink. And third drop set is stiff leg deadlift and step ups. I am going to do 4 sets with 12 reps. This exercise is used to target muscles in our hamstring. The correct form of stiff leg deadlift is to handle the weight according to your ability. And my first set weight is 20 kg and drop step ups with 12 steps each leg. Step up exercise strengthen each leg individually.
एंड माई नेक्स्ट सेट विथ थर्टी के जी एंड ड्रॉप स्टेप अप विथ फिफ्टीन स्टेप्स ईच लेग यू कैन यूज पार्बल और टू डम्बल्स और इवन जस्ट वन डम्बल वट एवर सूट्स यू बेस्ट जस्ट कीप दी वेट फेयरली लाइट स्टेप अप ऑल्सो इम्प्रूव बैलेंस एंड स्टेबलाइजेशन विच इज रिक्वायर्ड टू कंट्रोल दी वेट एज यू मूव अप एंड डाउन I'm doing third set with 40 kg and drop step ups with 15 steps each leg. I keep my back straight and plant my foot entirely on the bench, keeping my movement smooth and controlled. This is a good general lower body conditioning exercise. And the last set with 40 kg and drop step ups with 15 steps each leg. You should feel the stretch in your hamstring and glutes. Pause for second and then again slowly straighten your back. Keep the bar close to your body throughout. It also helps to build strength equally on each side and not favoring one leg over the other. After completing my super drop set, I'm sipping up my drink. Moving on to the fourth drop set that is seated leg curl and leg extension. I'm going to do three sets with 12 to 15 reps. My leg curl weight is 40 lbs and drop leg extension with 30 lbs. To properly execute a leg curl and leg extension, always start with a lighter weight. You don't want to force your body to overcompensate by lifting the hips and flexing your lower back. and my next set weight is 45 lbs and drop leg extension with 35 lbs leg curl strengthen and improve flexibility of your hamstring the exercise also target calf gastrocnemius and soleus having strong flexible hamstring is an important factor in your overall strength balance and stamina leg extension helps toning the front thigh muscles but if practiced with correct form then it also strengthen the tissue and ligaments connected to the thigh and knees which reduces the chance of workout injuries and i'm doing last set with 50 lbs and drop with 35 lbs please do proper warm up your body with low impact exercise like high knees jumping jacks or cycling After completing my set I'm sipping up my drink. Moving on to the second last super drop set that is hip thrust and adductor abductor. I'm going to do 3 sets with 15 to 20 reps. And first set hip thrust weight is 30 kg and drop adductor with 40 lbs. To improve performance and prevent injury, it's important that you tone strength and stretch all your hip muscles including your hip adductors. and my next set and my next set weight is 30 kg and drop with 40 lbs it's worth trying the moving without any weight at first and making sure that you are feeling the exercise mainly in your glutes rather than your thigh or lower back i'm doing my last set hip thrust is 30 kg and drop up adductor with 60 lbs and 20 reps the hip abductor are closely related to the core muscles and are crucial for balance and the last drop set is seated calf raises and standing calf raises i'm going to do three sets with 20 reps first set seated calf raises weight is 40 kg and drop standing with 45 lbs these are very different moves with the same goal that is to pack on muscle However each has their own unique function regarding where exactly the stress is focused soleus makes up a big portion of the calf area and if developed properly it adds to the overall size and shape and my next set weight is 40 kg and drop standing with 45 lbs it is the only exercise to position your knees to effectively work your soleus muscle the seated calf raises will stress the thick muscles under the calves and give your calf width to your lower leg
flex your calves all the way up until you are contracted and flex at the top for a count. Training this way will give your calves thickness from the side and inside width. And the last set with 40 kg and drop with 35 lbs. After long and heavy weight workout, don't forget to stretch in the end to avoid soreness and improve flexibility. After stretching, I am doing 15 minutes stair climber as a cardio after heavy leg workout. You can do anything like treadmill, cross trainer and cycle. It's completely up to you. If this information was helpful give me thumbs up. That's all for the day. See you all tomorrow. It's Filmy Fitness by Amandillo powered by Purely Picture. Stay tuned, stay safe and stay fit.